Uh, ho, this is a moccasin telling rep at the land of the singing coyote Indian Center in South Central Ohio. My name is Tika Dabuna Washte Wichasha, prairie chicken good man. I would like to point out a picture here. This is in southern Ohio down by the Ohio River. I'm not going to give you the particular location of it, but it's in the Han and Turner site. And this was one of the ancient statues. At one time, there was probably 30 of them overlooking the Little Miami River. What they were used for, people don't know. And there's none of them left as of this one. They have been carried off, sold, traded, artifacts collectors have got them. But that none of the tribes, and I've sent this picture to all the tribes, has ever claimed this statue. And at one time, like I said, there was about 30 of them down there around the mounds. Now, to the far left is a pyramid. And up at Seven Caves back in the late 1890s, there was two pyramids that were about 40 foot high made of stone. Well, the white people, the Wachichus, they took them down and they made stone walks out of these two pyramids. Now, if you go into the Aztec culture in Mexico, they surrounded their towns with mounds and pyramids of a sort for observation points, to build sacred fires, and a number of other things, even to take their seeds up so the sun god could uh, energize them, they think. They don't know for sure. Now, to my far left, again, I talk about the pyramid. That pyramid is made of copper. And it is an energy source and a healing source. Even today, on cable TV, they have a new ad on what they call Tommy Copper. It's for your knees, it's for your elbows, it's for running. It's got copper threads in it to heal you naturally. And that is what they state, that it heals you naturally. So back in the ancient days when they came up here and traded for copper up at the Great Lakes, they were using these for copper armbands, decorations. They probably did not know that these copper armbands and leg bands were also medicine that kept their joints and their leg joints from getting stiff and growing calcium because they wore these a lot. They made many different designs that they wore around their neck as necklaces. They made copper beads. So this use of copper and the design of the pyramid has been going on ever since ancient people. Also the stone carving here on the left, I forgot to say it stands about three and a half feet high. And there was many of them. So think about these things of the ancient people and see how much comes true today because the use of copper and the stone carving that's coming back many people are starting to do again. I like to say about that much. Doksha, wash day.